it's never too soon to start, especially when it comes to starting your own business. You're about to meet a young lady who, as Tyler Matheson explains, came up with an idea that's producing some pretty big money when she was just eight years old. So like this one, we made a wedge. <laughs> Madison Robinson's braces belie her wisdom. Be persistent and to always have a positive mind and be open to what other people have to say about your product. Her product, fish flops. According to her father, Dan, the brand sold more than a million dollars worth of retail merchandise in 2012. Those numbers are accurate, but they've, now we've exceeded those numbers. This year, sales grew 25%. Now, 50 new designs due out next year. When you walk, they'll light up. They were unveiled a few weeks ago at a Las Vegas trade show. What's a nice girl like this doing in Las Vegas? Missing high school dance team practice for a day to compete with 1,600 footwear labels looking for buyers. It's work, but it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like it's that what I like to do. When she was just eight, inspired by her surroundings at home on Galveston Island in Texas, Madison combined her original fish art into a flip-flop. Yeah, the flip-flop at Bastion of Beachwear, that staple of summer. And just gave it to my dad, and I was like, look, fish flops. I knew that it was something special. Dan Robinson bought a domain name that same day, fishflops.com, for all of $10. But nothing happened for four years. He was busy selling T-shirts up and down the Texas Gulf Coast, a hobby that turned full-time in 2003 when he left a job at a regional bank. I've probably sold 85000 In 2010, he decided to cast a line in a new direction. I kind of came to the, re the realization that she's only going to be a kid for so long. Her designs were created while she was a kid, and so they need to be launched while she was a kid. With $1,000, he had nine samples made, took them to a trade show in Florida. He wrote 37 orders, ranging in size from 24 pairs to 72 pairs. So after that show, I had to make the decision, I'm going to be in business or I'm not. Because to go into production at a factory, you have to obviously make more than 1,500 pairs. They ordered 36,000 pairs, selling about a third of them in 2011. 2012 was better, but Madison wanted more. Hoping to make a bigger splash, Dan helped her find the name of a buyer at Nordstrom. And she wrote an old school snail mail letter. What came back was almost too good to be true. I just read it and my dad read it to me and I got really excited. The reaction from the buyer was, this is very cute, cute product, cute concept, great name, nice young girl. You know, let me, let me see what, you know, we can do with this. They did plenty. Madison worked with Nordstrom to create three unique designs for 64 stores this year. A bit of a step up from dad's t-shirt business. I beat him, so that, that's good. No wonder this team thinks big. I think it could become like a lifestyle brand, pretty much. But on the weekends when you want to kick back and relax, make it feel like you're at the beach, you know, put on some fish flops. You can make clothes out of the characters, you can make school supplies, lunch boxes, bathing suits, beach toys. I think it could pretty much go to every, and anything you could possibly, like, imagine. And they're making some good money. I'm sure you're wondering about that, but Madison isn't using it, at least yet. Her father says it's safe to say that he's been able to sock away enough of the profit to pay for his daughter's college education. And, Sue, he says that they're going to be uh, throwing the rest of the money into the business. They're expanding into seven it's countries. Fantastic. And here, get this, they're going to make uh, these kind of fish flops for our age group and also for tweens and teens next year.